How do we get it out of here? The proper instrument was part of my thoracic assembly before the doctor removed it. I suggest a radical dislocation. A what? We need to pull it out. Welcome back to my uh, channel, and we are starting another kit. Uh, this uh, resin uh, uh, figurine of 7 of 9, I printed up in my printer. Uh, I bought the STL file from a gentleman. Ran me uh, 23, 20, no, 24.99, And I thought that was a pretty good price because it's just a wonderful figurine of 7 of 9. I thought it was worth every bit of the 25 bucks. <clears throat> and... Um, if you print her at 100%, she's about two foot tall. And of course, I have a small Proxima 6. So my table's only six inches. So I had to uh, shrink it a bit. I think I shrank her uh, down to 80%. So in a sense, she shrank 20%. Print her out 80%. And that was uh, really, I really maxed out my printer at 80 percent so she's about 15 inches tall i probably could have went with 12 inches and that would have been uh, large enough for me but i went 15 just to see how i could push my printer how far i could push it and this is the max but uh she's uh printed with uh elegoo uh washable uh resin it's a uh, ceramic gray and uh, then it took me about a week to print all the pieces up. Not too bad. Uh, so, as you can see, I started uh, the body work. Uh, her upper and lower half's glued together. Her lower legs are glued to her upper legs. The head's not glued on and the arms are not glued on because I have to paint the hands separately because the hands go against her legs. And if I glue it all together, uh, It'd just be, to me anyway, a pain in the ass trying to uh, uh, paint her hands when they're right up against her legs. So it would be easier to do the hands while they're off the legs. And then, um, so what we'll do is we'll paint uh, the body, we'll paint the hands, and then we'll mask off the hands and uh, do the filler work on the arms. And then we'll do the upper part of the body and then the head. So we'll paint the lower half, paint the hands, mask off the hands, glue these on, do the filler work, and then uh, continue on painting the body. And then the head uh, will be the last thing that we do. And uh, here is her face, which is uh, just a perfect likeness of Jerry Ryan, just a wonderful wonderful piece here uh, I do have to get on the internet and figure out how to paint blonde hair uh, I know you don't use yellow uh, but um, I, I I'm still need to look it up see what's the best way to do blonde hair I think you use an assortment of browns lighten them up and stuff like that but we'll get into that that's still down the road uh, here's our one uh, arm in hand a very uh, very detailed hand on the outside on the inside it's against her legs so there's really not a whole lot of detail there but and then as I showed you here's the Borg with the Borg, Borg um, a club I guess on her hand uh, so we've got uh, Vallejo plastic putty up here on the waist because a suit has um, these uh, ribbing, these lines in it. So I'm using the Vallejo putty there. And uh, down here on the legs, there's no nothing, you know, no real details. I'm using the uh, glazing and the spot putty. So I have to uh, do a little bit more work here on the legs. This is just my first coat. Once we get this leg to my liking, then we'll start on this leg. Uh, and we got some uh, surface defects from the supports that we have to take care of. Got these like uh, little pimples on the back where the supports were. But this is 320. 
and just uh, quick going over those areas with 320. Uh, those little uh, pimples, I guess. Now they just, they're just absolutely gone. They just come right off and uh, you don't have to worry about it. So it's not really hard to get them out. Uh, that's why I don't worry about them too much when I'm printing up. And I try to keep my supports on the back side of the model. Um, just so all this uh, pimple stuff and sanding work I have to do on the resin itself uh, from the supports uh, is just uh, makes it easier work if it's on the back side. But, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much about it. And I'll do that for the, her entire body. Just, just to get any uh, sanding, you can hear that. Some of the uh, sanding uh, imperfect, uh, printing imperfections uh, on the uh, suit. And we'll get it all smoothed out. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, so that is our next project, Seven of Nine. I want to get her done before she gets broke. As I said, thank God I didn't uh, print her hollow. That was my original attempt to print her hollow. Uh, but I'm glad I put an infill in there just to strengthen her up a bit. And if you all haven't heard, the poor man here, Wally, passed away. Uh, Tony Dow. And it, uh, I was really sad to hear that, that uh, Tony Dow passed away. I mean, I grew up with the guy. I grew up with both of these guys. And it was kind of a bummer to uh, find out that uh, he passed away, poor guy. And he passed away from cancer. He's been fighting cancer for a few years, I guess. It's really, really, uh, really, really a shame. In fact, I think uh, this year's cancer build, I'm going to dedicate it to Tony Dow. But anyway, I'm kind of getting off tangent here. So this is what we're building. We are building the uh, 7 to 9 lovely kit. Uh, we have to get on the internet, do some research on doing blonde hair. But uh, I think she's fantastic. And uh, I ordered a nice acrylic um, hexagon base for her. Uh, should be big enough for her. And it's clear, all acrylic. So I'm thinking about maybe putting lights in it, maybe painting it a uh, green, uh, a uh, clear green, and uh, maybe put some lights in it so we have a nice green light shine up. I think that might be kind of cool. But uh, yeah, um, that's our plans for uh, 7 of 9. And I think uh, Richard, well, I don't think I know, Richard, um, he is uh, building a uh, Voyager kit. Donuts in Space, if, you know, if you're not aware of his channel, head on over there and see Richard. Super nice guy and wonderful uh, model builder. But he's currently working on a, a Voyager, you know, doing the whole nine yards, putting all photo etch in, putting interior pieces in. So when you look in the window, you can see uh, rooms in there. And yeah, he's going the whole nine yards on his Voyager, so that should be pretty cool. So head on over there to Donuts in Space and check out Richard. And come on over here if you want to check out uh, 7 of 9. Alright guys, I guess that's it. Take care and we will see you on our uh, first update.